develop your own compass and trust it. Take risks, dare to fail. Remember the first person through the wall always gets hurt. You're going to fall down, but the world doesn't care how many times you fall down as long as it's one fewer than the number of times you get back up. Fail big. That's right. Fail big. You only live once. So do what you feel passionate about. Take chances. Don't be afraid to fail. There's an old IQ test was nine dots. And you had to draw five lines with a pencil within these nine dots without lifting the pencil. The only way to do it was to go outside the box. So don't be afraid to go outside the box. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams. And they ultimately fuel disappointment. So have dreams, but have goals. Life goals, yearly goals monthly goals, daily goals, and understand that to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. In order to achieve your goals, you must apply discipline and consistency every day, not just on Tuesday and miss a few days. You have to work at it every day. You have to plan every day. You've heard the saying, we don't plan to fail. We fail to plan. Hard work works. Working really hard is what successful people do. Do not be afraid to fail because that oftentimes is the thing that keeps us back because we think we have to be right. We think we have to be perfect. We think that we can't stumble. And the only way you succeed in life the only way you learn is by failing. It's not the failure, it's what you do after you fail, you know? Do you let it eat you up? Do you quit? Do you give up? Or do you let it bolster you? Does it serve as, as the challenge in your mind to do more, to take some risks, to step outside of your comfort zone? Turn your wounds into wisdom. You will be wounded many times in your life. You'll make mistakes. Some people will call them failures. But I have learned that failure is really God's way of saying, excuse me, you're moving in the wrong direction. It's just an experience. If you are going to try something hard, if you're putting yourself out there in some way, there are going to be times where you screw up or you don't succeed. Or there are times where you do everything right and you still don't succeed. You'll go through some failures. And, and I think that the most important thing is to learn from those failures uh, and to have a sense of resilience, to be able to examine what is it that I did not succeed at, why didn't I succeed, and what do I need to do better.